Hello, this is Willful 100. Hopefully I will uh, finish with getting all our productivity or effectivity modules in our systems today. Um, I don't even know why I'm going... Oh, because I have one on me. Uh, why I'm going north. Um, so I can get all these effectivity modules in. That'll be a good power drop. We're actually getting to the point where our assembly machines are about to take up more power than our miners. Though we actually have more assembly machines and they should be consuming the same amount. So that's actually just assembly machines aren't running at full power. But, so I'm making rockets so we can go deal with the uh, alien bases later. So I think a rocket launcher will probably be the quickest solution to the alien menace. 60 explosive damage versus uh, about 54. So yeah, the, the range on the rocket launcher will allow us to take out those alien bases better. Yeah, these these new stuff, rockets and uh, activity modules, they, they, they take a lot of time to build. Doesn't help that I have to make the advanced circuits as well. Thinking about that though, I can probably set up a factory to make advanced circuits. Oh, we're about to finish alien technology. Not that we need to really refine these alien artifacts into purple science packs, but this is the fact that we're getting close to it, right? Close to being able to do it. So we got 261 batteries. Long time for that fills up. We have 600 plastic. Do we really need that there? No, we don't. We can get... Yeah, we got that weird... Uh, we got a white sort of setup. Okay. So I could take the plastics. What do I use plastic on? Plastic right now is used... Oh, Alien Tech finished. So we go back through our list. Uh, we can do characteristic slots. We can do... Turret stuff. Turret and damage stuff. That requires Alien Tech. Productivity and speed. Now let's get the speed and productivity. We're not going to use them. Well, productivity might be tempting to do on the mines, so the mines churn out more uh, without depleting the resources as fast. And then technically every time you go up the stage, same sort of thing. It's, it's, you don't have to go through as many resources in the previous stage to get the same amount of output. Anyway. Okay, so we built... Right now we use plastics almost exclusively. I believe we use plastics for these circuits. They use plastics. They're the only thing I know that uses our plastic. Which means could uh, just set up a plastics factory here and have to just bring over the uh, circuits. So what do blue science packs use? I remember blue science packs need something that use plastic. Oh, because they need the advanced circuits. And smart inserters, but in smart inserters just use electronic circuits. You know, I think 11 rockets for the moment will be fine. Oh, I actually moved the power pole from there. You can go on the far side. So I can easily take it up there. Granted, you're still experiencing a major petroleum shortage. due to the fact that we really don't have anything that we can crack into petroleum. Oh, this has shut down, which is why we have surplus of this. I actually suggest that this would be a good time to use our belts here and switch from coal into fuel. So we've got a stockpile, we won't run out quickly.
There's a bit of coral in there. I'll have to cut down every every tree to get in the way. Oh, come on. Tree in the way. Alright, so if I can switch out uh, solid fuel for coal. Oh, I actually ran out of I ran out of belts. It's unusual. Yeah, so I can switch out uh, the solid fuel for coal. And I can just start boxing up the coal. So though we use coal for stuff, we don't need to be using it for fuel and the furnaces and stuff like that if we can produce enough solid fuel. Ah, speed module researched. Speed modules push the machine to its limits, but they also increase the energy consumption, which is They'll be good later, but right now uh, I kind of need energy efficiency. At least some of my machines. So let's come over here. And there's a big box of tracks. So I can fix the shortage of track, and then this thing will just reproduce them for us. So now we run back over to where we're working and get the transfer belts all the way out. Okay, so we want this transport belt to just come along. Come up to here. Oops. Uh, I'm not going to go immediately interrupt that flow. I'm going to make sure that we've got stuff coming down this at a reasonable rate first. So to make that come at a reasonable rate, right, we're going to need a fast inserter. Which means I need to build the fast inserter, which means I need to uh, get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay, fast inserter. We want those again. And we want the solar panels. Okay, fast inserter. Okay, I probably want another fast inserter. So that'll get us the uh, solid fuel going on our production line. You know, I hope that'll actually be enough. That probably won't be enough and I'll have a blackout and then I'll be wondering why I have a blackout. And the next thing would be to interrupt coal production. Oh, which is the easiest way to do that. Well, actually, I really want to do that. And then I can go that. Grab a inserter. We're going to box. So, you know, let's pick up a little bit more coal. So, you know, I want... I want to put this, yeah, pick it up again. I want to put it there. I want to put it there. Or I want to be able to put an inserter there if our coal stops working right. I need a box. Preferably a wooden box. Well, actually, it might need to be bigger than a wooden box. So this is probably going to actually bring all our coal production to a halt, grinding halt at some point. Let's come up here, let's uh, improve our efficiencies once again. One more in there. And we'll put the next one in here. You know it's not working. That's not producing any pollution. About to finish the productivity module. So let's get uh, character logistics slots. Uh, oh, robo parts. Should, should build a few of this. Yeah, let's get a, let's get a block in here. And a uh, big electric. Nah, I'll just do a do a medium electric pole. and that'll work. So that'll box up our uh, coal, and we should be having this come in. Let's actually put a, a splitter, so we can get it coming in on both sides. Right now, it's only coming in on one side. Oh, 
Just make that, and we'll get it on all sets. Nope, we got more enemies hitting our lasers. The lasers should be able to handle it. Okay, this is also... We still have coal in the engine, so it's not an issue. Um, once they run out of coal, they'll start grabbing the uh, solid fuel. Hopefully, though, we are actually offloading solid fuel quick enough that it'll start back logging like this. Of course, the other way to fix this is I can only start building... Uh, where is it? Electric furnaces. Oh, those... Oh, no, never mind. The raw. It takes it in raw because we use it in advanced circuits. And with the electric furnaces, that would raise power demand, but drop coal demand. Or fuel demand. And that's it would allow us to switch clean or clean or more cleanly over into uh, solid fuel. Yeah, these advanced circuits move means we need plastic. Which means for any stuff that requires what, what was the thing I was actually oh yes, it was um, advanced oil processing for advanced oil processing. Oh, I would also be needing it for cracking, so I can't crack our oil right now. So we've got oil of what we get. We get what we got. Which means the petroleum shortage is real. There's not enough petrol. Not enough petrol to fill demand. Okay, let's make more solar panels. Oops, no, we're don't want to be making solar panels, and we have to actually make the uh, make the circuits to go with them. So we have we have that assembly line for that. And it's the middle of the night, so the solar panels aren't doing anything. The solar panels are getting kicking. Oh no. Why, when I have it on 5 seconds, we got no solar? But when I look at 5 minutes, 10 minutes, we still have solar. Oh, because it's in kilowatts. It's so, it's so tiny right now, that it's, it's notable. That's what it's thinking. No, oh, output is watts. So between them all, we're getting like kilowatts, right? Oh, because it, it's showing the kilowatts that we've put out over the past 10 minutes. So, so they are producing, they're just producing so little that over the past minute, in-game minute, they've produced only 100 kilowatts between the 28 of them. But we are still struggling to keep our uh, power demands underneath our power production. Okay, let's build an assembly machine. Because I'm going to start assembling the advanced circuits via factory. So I'm going to need an insert. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to take something else, I'll have it in chest over here, and we'll output a product. That means I need two things of wooden, two wooden boxes, and another wooden box. I have this one around, I have, eh, no, that'll actually work that way. Don't have to worry about it. So you're going to make Ah, we got character lists just lots of them. We do character lists just lots too. Two Which is probably better than bullets, seeing as we're not using any more bullets. Uh, shotgun would be tempting. And then we have the laser stuff. Uh, let's actually do the... let's focus on the laser stuff before we focus on that, right? So let's get laser shooting speed. Okay, so assembly machine, you're gonna focus on advanced circuits. So we need to give you 
Plastic bars, electric circuits. Oh, you also need cup kit. Ooh, one is not large enough to build that type. So we need to upgrade to two. Assembly machine two. Hopefully assembly machine two is big enough. Assembly machine two is in fact big enough to build advanced circuits. So we'll set you to build advanced circuits. Now I just need to get you the copper and the circuits. And you'll sit there turning away for us. Well, we haven't started to lose steam power. Or are we? We probably are losing steam power. It's only sitting at 8. Well. Production. Yeah, we're still sitting well below production. Consumption is being fully provided. Production is we're below full. So steam engines aren't running at full speed because they don't need to run at full speed. Which generally results in us uh, having to boil this water, which is good. It allows our solid fuel lines to back up. They haven't fully backed up yet, though. I think he's actually running on solid fuel. Oh yeah, some of these are running on solid fuel. And it is a lot more energy dense than coal. So a full backlog on the solid fuel will be better than a full backlog on the coal. We are still backlogging, the, er, boxing the coal, because the coal is needed for stuff. I just don't want to figure out how to belt from here to the far side of the, or to the center of the um, oil refining zone. So you're turning out, we're mainly unloading. I, I love how I have a fast unloader, but I only have a slow one uh, loading. Yeah, and the slow one is uh, unloading quick enough, so there's no point in putting a faster one. Could potentially, if I think we needed to uh, refine quicker, put another one, another one of these chemical plants above and start churning out more. I think if we had the better recipe we might, because right now we're doing uh, 334. I think it turns into 4.5, uh, 4.5. Yeah, it turns into 1, 4.5, 4.5. Oh, my lubricant's about to fill up. I've got to run out of space for the lubricant. Uh, electric engine. Should we start making electric engines? Probably. Electric engines means we need to make engines and electric engines. So one goes to the other one. More electric circuits we need. And then we can start setting up a logistics to shift things around for us. Oh, and I didn't get you any of the stuff you want. You want... You want two things. Okay, one of those things, actually, thinking about it, would be best provided by just setting up a... another assembly machine. I had the materials, of course. I'm processing copper for you. You know, tree, you're in my way. Six hundred and eight units of wood that I don't need. Well, I suppose I could just uh, switch them out for solid fuel in the uh, boilers and force, force, them, force burn it that way. Absolutely burn it for power. Mm -hmm. We need you. Control it quick. Let's get more plates. Click all the plates. Oops. This is really I'm just going to shut down our research. But we're we're researching laser shooting speed. It's not highly important. If anything, we're making it so our lasers consume even more power, which we probably don't want. Mm. 
You know, I should probably check to see if we're actually... Oh, sounds being attacked again. That's a large wave inbound. Should handle it alright. Need to watch to make sure nothing gets destroyed, but the eight of them should easily be able to destroy me. Ooh, we're actually... one of the miners is about to run out. It's almost last 29. Still thinking about expansion. Uh, I can expand. We got some iron here and some iron there, so we've got enough iron within belt distance, right? We can belt around. And we definitely have the belts to belt it around, so. Running out of iron probably won't be an issue. Though I do need to keep monitoring, because I probably want to keep that many mines running. So I need to still be still need to be focusing on trying to reduce my power consumption. Uh, the power footprint needs to uh, reduce. So yes, yeah, so let's build one of you. We have you producing wire for our advanced uh, machine, advanced uh, circuit machine. This is shooting speed has pretty much. Isn't really going anywhere. Well, it is going somewhere. Not producing quite as many circuits, uh, green science packs as we were before. So it hasn't really. We really, really haven't felt much of a lag because they take a take a long time to do anyway. Anyway, so I want short inserter to a box, and then I want a long inserter. Long inserter, take one machine, put it in the other. So you are going to have lots of copper. We're going to make copper wire. Copper wire. So you've already got your designs. We'll give you the circuits that you need, and you should actually get underway. Turning out the really, really slow advanced circuits. And that means I can now return later for advanced circuits. And then I just have to build the productivity modules myself. 15 seconds of productivity module. Yeah. Batteries, 382. So I suppose I could expand the capacitor system. Um, how many seconds in a day? No, actually, a better way to guesstimate this, to figure out how long our, our day-night cycle is. So maybe five minutes? So if we assume it's five minutes, then we want to keep this running for five minutes. We want to have enough accumulated capacity that we can run the entire system for five minutes. So even if we were to theoretically have like a snowstorm where there's no sun for an entire day, we'd be able to run everything, right, for solar panel. Um, so that means we'd want 60 times 5, so 300, 300 times 10, so we need 3,000 megajoules. 3,000 megajoules and we have power for whatever we need, right? Yes, so I could go ahead and start building lots of uh, lots of those things, these things. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pick up all my batteries. 396 batteries. You know, I have a feeling that we're not restricted by batteries. We're restricted by the iron plates on this. No, we're restricted by batteries. So I'm just going to go ahead and churn out a lot of those. I'm going to go ahead and chop down this horse, it's on my way. So we'll have a power reserve for dicks. We won't have to worry about power running out. We will the siege by the aliens. Petroleum storage, though. Not good.
So let's start uh, laying out accumulators. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave a gap because I understand that at some point I'm going to need to get through here. So I'm going to leave a gap of two wide. I can run through here later. I'm also going to need more wire. More medium electric poles. Until I get substations, these are the most effective way to light up things. No, I can't place it there because of the pipe. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and put down more of these poles. More poles, more poles, more poles. So that raises our maximum accumulator storage. Still nowhere near that mythical two er, mythical three thousand, but that mythical three thousand is quite mythical. It should you should never drain that much. You can see the entire system powering up to provide all the power necessary to drive off the uh, aliens. As our laser towers jump into uh, full full force, dwarfing all the other power demands. <laughs> and they even still manage to damage the damage the walls. Just come along. And there we go. I messed up something, didn't I? Oh, that one is... Yeah, I messed up. Due to where this hole is. Anyway. Oh! More power. Or more power storage. Should not be running out of power storage in the middle of combat. There we go. So yes, our, our storage will charge up. Our consumption will be running perfectly. So production. Reason why there's a gap here is this the gap that could be supplied by something else, right? So production could be higher, but we're also consuming maximally. We're producing 10 on the solar power, and all of it, all the excess that can be diverted is being diverted into the accumulators. Where are the accumulators? Probably one of the lower things. Or we're we not accumulating anything at all. Oh no, here we are. Uh, 783 going into the accumulators. Well, after all the work that I've done, I'm going to go check see how many circuits that are coming along. And then uh, I'm probably going to start thinking about putting a cut in the video here. Actually, I'm probably going to take a cut for myself. I'm going to take a nap. It's pretty late at night. 100 electric circuits. Sounds like a good start to a solar panels. Who is any more solar panels? So all the ones with little sparks are the ones that are charging.
316 pentacles. Oof. At least 600, 1600 or 600 megajoules in storage. So you have. Oh yes, because it's only taking out put in this one wherever it's needed. And this one's just really, really slow. So we have 19 of the circuits. Oh, laser turret shooting speed is done. We get more laser turret shooting speed? Nope. Uh, so laser turret damage. Done, done, done. Are we at the point where we actually need to start doing... Oh, we can do armor crafting. Better armor crafting. Basic, mo basic modular armor. Tempting. Combat robotics, not gonna bother. Gun turrets, not gonna bother. Uh, not gonna bother. Shotgun... Shotgun shell damage would be tempting. Okay, let's actually... Yeah, let's go with the armor crafting. I prefer the armor crafting over the shotgun shell damage. Okay, so... For each one of these productivity modules, we need... Five of each. Okay, so I can just queue all these up. Go ahead and dump the uh, rest of these in here. You, no, those are productivities. I don't want productivities. I want only effectivity. Do all the effectivities. Even at night, we produce just enough with our steam engines and the soul panels starting to kick in. Now we're just charging up accumulators. We have more than enough power to provide as needed during height of demand. Assuming I could actually charge with a solar power, it might actually be worth doing a uh, sensing mechanism to determine how much is in the um, reserves. Nope, we've got a backlog. I'm only using. No, that's not really an issue with the backlog, right? So yes, this, this thing won't run out of, uh... Condensed fuel any time soon. And my wooden chest is gonna get full. So I really want to be productive. I need to upgrade that to a bigger chest. I probably also want to upgrade the system with a fast inserter at the end, or just be dumping them straight into the chest instead of trying to belt it down to a chest. Right now I'm building these um, effectivity modules, which are actually a lot better when you're just building the effectivity module, not the component parts, right? But still are very slow. And another effectivity module. Go ahead and put that in the electric mine drill, even though the electric mine drill isn't working in this case. Yeah, well, as we're lowering the drill power, more and more power gets directed to the accumulators. Actually, the accumulators are the thing drawing the most power now. Also, our uh, solar powers are generating more and more. Let's take out of this one and put in the one that's actually moving. Okay, let's also go ahead and I have all the stuff for it, which I do. Let's make a passive setter. Let's make a steel chest. So a fast inserter. And a steel chest. Oops, wrong way around. Let's take some of this anyway. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll make use of it. So that'll try packing that up quickly. You know, it's not actually making a move. Probably not. Let's let's have one taking off both sides. Let's make another fast inserter. And, and of course, another steel chest to go with it. There's a turret engaging the enemy on both fronts. So yes, this is one of the advantages of having all that accumulated power. Is we have plenty of stored energy, so we can we can practically attack on all fronts and we have enough power. 
We just finished our tech. Armor crafting is done. Armor crafting now provided that now can, we can now build modular armor. Use up some of those event circuits, use some processing units. Get some uh, stuff that we put stuff in. Also allows us to have things like energy shields and portable solar panels. Portable fusion reactor. <laughs> I'm assuming all this probably takes blue at this point. Uh, no, you're, you don't use any blue, you don't use any blue. Night vision, don't use any blue. You don't use any blue. Power armor does. Now let's go to the character wizards slots instead of the stuff that's slot in our greater armor. I thought I was going I forgot I was going to do, um, going to do the shotgun damage. You know, if I put the splitter... I have another splitter, so that won't be an issue. If I put the splitter closer up here, then I can have more of it on the treadmill. So let's do this where the uh, turn is. So I'm going to have the production is going to be coming up up here, and if we ever get so much of it that we actually, or so much uh, spare light oil that we come in from both sides, then it'll go up farther north. Right? You know, that doesn't help the way I just did it. Alright, there we go. On both sides. Now I can go take up the splitter further down. We'll pick up this, uh, Solid fuel. Oops. Remember that uh, I'm getting so tired that I'm forgetting the buttons. Forgetting the buttons. Alien artifacts used by blue and average research. Anyways, now we'll get it to coming down the side, so I don't need uh, don't need this splitter here. Just go with the normal transport belt. And you can see how much the different sides use. This one's using uh, coal much faster, because you can see the solid fuels come farther down the line. Eventually, neither of these will use uh, fuel, and I'll just be using the electric furnaces. No, something... well, no, that requires blue science. Uh, I was about to say, I could do uh, even faster transport belts. Only I had the electric sign or had the... Uh, Blue science packs automated. Still, I can't can't think of how I'm gonna automate them. About three inputs. Three inputs. One of them is really really slow building. The other one, actually no. Two of them require petroleum that I'm not producing in large quantities anymore because we don't have enough. Uh, we're just not producing enough petroleum. The crude oil is actually starting to back up. Might be time to start thinking about another uh, refinery. Hmm. Will be be major power drain. 420 kilowatts. Well, let's actually take a look at our much expanded map. Just as we can see, we've moved like two or three squares down, and we're we're, we're getting out there. It's it's almost done. Yeah, we can see that is that is the base attacking us. That is a big base. Not gonna be fun to clear. Well, it might be fun to clear. It might actually be very, very fun to clear because it'll actually be a challenge. It'll almost certainly be a challenge. So power, we are 8.3 going on the steam engine. Granted, we... oh no, that's also because the uh, the accumulators aren't quite full. Where are the accumulators on this list? Or maybe they are full, maybe they're all the way full. Oh yeah, the accumulators are all the way full. We've got uh, 5.5... or er, 550 megajoules of storage. So, we are actually running at only about... well, we're still using a full 10 megawatts of power. 
It's just most of it's coming from solar now. Okay, I got a list. Oh, he worked. He worked. Don't know why I was panicking so much. Well, we got more of the event circuits. We keep producing power. Uh, I can also... I can I can struggle with the switch over to electric furnaces. No, if I can't get the power much lower, then I need to... Yeah, I need to get the power lower. So that I can afford the energy shift for the furnaces. Well, I'm uh, Wilco 100. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it. Take a take a nice uh, night's sleep. If you like this and want to see more, please leave a like and a subscription. If you have any comments on how to make this or any other episodes better, please leave a comment in the comments section. Until next time, this is Bookle 100.